Hello. Mecca, thank you for letting me know that uh, frames were dropping. It's kind of noticing that on the other computer as well. So hopefully the uh, 30 frames per second is going to take care of that for a bit. I, I need to check. I probably need to uh, restart my router or something because I usually don't seem to be having problems with that. I've got enough bandwidth. So anyway, how is uh, everybody today? Uh, I know I'm extremely happy because here in Ohio, it's been uh, you know, probably 29, 30 degrees last uh, couple of days, and it is like 75 out right now. I just uh, have my garage door open to uh, get some warm air in here. Man, feeling good. Actually in shorts today. Uh, anyway, I am going to continue on with my drawer build. I got... Uh, Three of these four inch boxes uh, built on stream the other day. And I'm not sure if you can see it from the shop, but I'm going to uh, put them in here. So there will be three uh, four inch drawers and then one about 10 to 12 inch drawer, depending on what space is left over. So uh, that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out the, the uh, tools and stuff from. Uh, this cabinet, all my yucky green tools. So one of the things I would actually like some recommendations on is I'm looking to invest in a better brand of uh, battery powered tools, Makita, Milwaukee, something else, but I'm not sure which one I should invest in. And so if anybody has any recommendations as far as you know a good brand to go with um as far as tools i think all the brands the drills and impact drivers are pretty solid i would i would assume but i don't know if there's any brands out there that have like one killer tool that would warrant uh the battery platform. Yeah, that's why I figure I'm gonna agonize over as well. <laughs> Last thing I wanna do is uh, uh, get three or four different brands, so. I figured that. I'm hoping for that one killer tool though, one killer tool. So, I don't know. Um, hey Owen, how are you doing? Thank you for joining in. I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate all the viewers that I get. I am on the very last stages of making it to affiliate. So I got the I got the followers now. Thanks to everybody. Thanks to all the shout outs. I've got 10 hours of streaming in. Uh, I just need 0.2 viewers. So. Everybody that comes along, I appreciate it. Let me put this battery over here. <clears throat> I do like DeWalt. I've got some DeWalt tools. I got, of course, the planer over there. Um, I got a drill. Got some other smaller tools, but I do like DeWalt as a brand. I've, sir, I've seen also a couple of uh, cool features about some of the new batteries. Can't remember what brands it is. I want to say it's with some of the new DeWalts and Rigid. Not really looking towards Rigid, but I heard on some of the batteries they actually have. USB ports, so you can plug in other USB devices into the battery that you're not using in your tool. So that'd be maybe cool out here, you know, have a ring light or something that I can move around with just a battery. Hey, Shanigans, how are you doing? I know, I just I just actually built the French cleats. Uh, so I'm just working on all of that. Uh, probably the 
The best one I've got so far up here is the one for the track saw and my drills, but they are empty. So <clears throat> for those of you who are new to watching my stream, I am a new woodworker. And what my channel is about is my wife, if she's still in here, she was very gracious. And we bought this house just a little over a year ago. And she was nice enough to let me lay claim to the uh, three car garage. The, uh, probably the first eight months of the house, just like most new woodworkers, I did a lot of renovation myself. Uh, I've done renovations before, but I did a lot of renovations around the house. And uh, once I got done, or kind of near the end of those projects, I really wanted to build a wood shop. And so that's kind of what this channel is about, is me building my own skills, trying new, uh, new things, new new projects that I've never done before. Me building up my shop, I built all these cabinets, flip top uh, stand for the uh, planer over there, and then me building up my tools, as well as uh, every probably three or four streams, I will have my daughter on here, and we'll do father-daughter projects, uh, just trying to uh, teach her how to use uh, power tools and everything. So it's kind of what my channel is about. So I appreciate anybody who joins in on my journey. Give me, give me uh, tips, recommendations. Yeah, man, best tool. All right, so you see the saw stop over here. Yeah, I, I definitely, I like some best tool stuff. I definitely like the domino. Uh, I don't have one, but I don't know if eventually it'd be nice to own Festool lines, but man, for a new woodworker, that is a hell of a budget, you know, and so, yeah. Hey, bad dad. Um, yeah, Festool makes some nice stuff, but man, it's that barrier for entry for a new woodworker. I do feel that I'm going to keep at this for years. It's not something that I'm just going to pick up and, you know, do for a year or two. So, but yeah, I do got to, you know, kind of budget my tools and stuff and kind of, you know, get tools for the job, what I'm going to be using. Besides debating on a new brand of battery tools, I'm also debating between my next big tool purchase whether it would be a drum sander or maybe a joiner. Um, I have projects that would, you know, use both, but, you know, with the joiner, there's multiple ways of joining a board, so. So I am programming. Uh, my day job is uh, I'm a software architect, a software engineer. Um, dabble in many different languages, uh, so that's my uh, day job. But I love any shirts related techie stuff or woodworking stuff. So but it seems like there's a lot of uh, engineers in here, software engineers, mechanical engineers, on that. So looks like a pretty smart community. Yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, that's, you know, some of the things I want to learn from this uh, channel, you know, is uh, get input from the community, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, and just kind of you know, enjoy the process and whatnot. So anyway, what I am working on today, um, for those of you who just joined, uh, the other stream, a couple of days ago, I built some uh, drawer boxes for my cabinet back here so i am just going to work on putting drawer slides in and maybe get them mounted up 
and then move on to that uh, fourth taller drawer. So what I'm going to do here is got a little spacer that I cut. I'm just going to set these uh, these drawer boxes here, put the spacer down, set the drawer rail on it, and uh, mount the drawer rails, and then I will go and then fit them into the cabinet. Let's see. How's everybody's day going? I'm going to scroll through chat, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, Shanigans, uh, as far as nice tools for a new woodworker, yeah, there were a couple things I wanted to invest in. Uh, again, I knew this was going to be something that I wanted to do for a while. So um, you can't see it but off camera. The table saw that I'd been using for the last 10 or so years was just a craftsman. Uh, I think I bought it for about $500. Um, but I quickly started outgrowing that for what everything that I was doing here. I need a much bigger rip capacity and whatnot. So one of my big one, big purchases was the saw stop. But just like Boyd, I was looking at other brands. I was looking at the Laguna Fusion uh, F2. I was looking at some Harvey table saws. Uh, but when it came down to it, I found this one. I didn't buy this saw stop new. Uh, I did buy it secondhand, but it was only like a year old. Uh, but for the price and everything, uh, it was just a few hundred dollars more than what the Harvey was going to cost shipped to me. And for the safety features, as well as the professional accuracy of it, I did go with the saw stop because I wanted to invest once, and not twice. I didn't want to go with like the Fusion and then a year or two down the road, end up deciding that I wish I would have spent the money on the saw stop. So I did pull the trigger. I felt like I got a good deal of it. It's a, it's a big, uh, it's a big uh, uh, saw. Uh, I measured it. Uh, uh, Bad Dad and I were comparing uh, measurements and I think mine's 102 and his is 95, 98. So it's a it's a big beast in here. The other um, purchase that I made uh, about six months ago, I did buy a Laguna. It's behind the camera here, but I buy a Laguna uh, 14BX bandsaw, and I really like that. I did want to get good quality uh, bandsaw with a foot brick. I do like the Rotex. Yeah, I, I do seem to invest in pricey hobbies. I was uh, talking to, I think it was Life and Pain and Mechaform last night. We were, I think it was us that was talking about that. And I think it's also the way our brains work, you know, for me, for programming, uh, me, for any project that I work on programming, is it's like a puzzle. You know your ultimate goal, but how do you get there? And so you have to plan your steps out. You have to plan architect, you know, and you proceed with a, you know, you lay everything out and then you proceed and, you know, sometimes you hit obstacles and stuff and then, you know, you have to use critical thinking to get around that. But uh, I'm very detail-oriented mind, and I would, I like to piece a, piece things together in my mind. And, I, and you know, same thing with woodworking. You know, I I want to build something that I can visualize in my head. I can see how it goes together. I'm just trying to get those skills to produce what my mind is thinking. Man, you should. I mean, I, 
You should have tried moving this, bad dad. Man, uh, I, I even assembled it by myself. My wife helped a little bit, but man, putting this thing together uh, by yourself, that was, a, that was a chore in and of itself. All right, going to open up these rails. Yeah, the install of, man, all of it was a challenge, but also, on the other hand, I mean, it's a good thing. But be, besides just the install of it, I think I spent probably a good week or more just finding fine-tuning it. There's a lot of finding fine-tuning to the uh, saw stop. I do like the way that you fine tune the blade parallel to the fence. But yeah, and there's a lot, a lot of fine tuning. And then uh, I built a, see a little bit here. I built a big, uh, let me see if I can lift it up, big cross cut sled. And then getting that dialed in accurate with the five cut method. That took a little bit of fine tuning as well. But as I say, it's all stuff that I'm learning along the way. Yeah, 48 inch wide cross cut. I've got uh, adjustable zero clearance uh, inserts on here. So if I change my blade kerf, these uh, inserts, I can slide them in and out. That way, if I put a dado stack or a thin kerf blade, I can always have zero clearance. It is a monster. <laughs> But the reason why it's a monster is I, I've cut so many cabinets, I needed a bigger, better crosscut sled. I do actually have a smaller crosscut sled. That's my second crosscut sled, but the uh, crosscut sled that I had for my old table saw, I still got it. I took the. Uh, the slides on the bottom off and uh, fit them to the uh, saw stop. So I do have a smaller one. All right. Let me get a clamp so I can. Clamp this in. The other thing is when you have a lot of uh, you know big heavy big heavy pieces on that crosscut sled and you're pulling it back as far as you can because I just recently I cut some uh, sheet goods uh, actually for these drawer bottoms they're about the depth of that crosscut sled and having to pull that back all the way uh, to get free of the uh, table saw blade. It was heavy uh, being that far away from the, the end of the saw.
me a minute while I get these slides opened up. Oh. All right, so I just let me see if I can move the. Key. Oh, okay. Alexa wanted to listen in. I'll uh, move the camera in here a little bit. <laughs> I heard you about. About you and your auctions. Maybe I need to source my stuff from you, man. Cost of sheet goods and everything. I was uh, on stream the other night, man. A uh, three-quarter inch Baltic birch here is two hundred dollars after tax. But man, I need to. I need to uh, get better sources of. Uh, Supplies. Let's see here. Going to lock that in. Yeah, that's what I fear, and I fear that it's actually not really going to come down in price much ever again. I think uh, most store realize that we were willing to pay the cost, so move this over between here. I get deeper clamps. Please. Oh no. Maybe we can uh buy from the Bad Dad supply company. And actually, how am I pronouncing it right? Is it Bad Dad or Badad? Both. All right. Just want to make sure I wasn't pronouncing it wrong. All right.
optimization. And I was on his stream the other day and he was talking about all the sheet goods that you got for what, $5 a sheet? Yeah, I would normally build these drawers out of a little bit better material, but I just opted for half-inch uh, sanded ply. Probably would have uh, gone with uh, something a little bit better, but hey. I didn't want... Didn't want these drawers to be a couple hundred dollars. Guess it wouldn't have been that much, but huh? I don't know. After the uh, slides and everything, they work quite a bit. I did end up going for the uh, soft close slides. I do like the uh, standard birch ply, not the Baltic, but the standard. I do a bit of that. I think my next shop projects after this, I want to build a good outfeed table with drawers and stuff in it. I want to build an outfeed table and I want to build a better wood storage rack, especially for sheet goods. The one big project that I really am looking forward to doing, I'm not to that level yet, though, but uh, like I said, I bought this house you know, a little about a year and a half ago. But down in the basement, I would like to build a, a giant, you know, full, full bar, you know, wet bar and everything, and I would like to don't like nice oak top uh, bar top. Kind of have an idea of what I'd like to do. I'd like to get some old bourbon barrels and take them apart and Cut them down to where they're a little bit flat. Plane off some of them, but kind of make a butcher top, butcher block top for the bar, and then do a flood coat of epoxy over that. So I can probably do that. I've uh, I have done some. Cutting boards and stuff. I did some cutting boards for Christmas and whatnot. 
I also kind of want to make some more of these and take to farmers markets and stuff. And I can quickly pump out some of these things. But I'd like to uh, do some of this to pay off my uh, tool purchases. But I definitely think that uh, I could handle the bar top aspect. But uh, you know, getting all the other fine details of a nice uh, bar and display liquor rack. One of my dream projects. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Um, especially, I've got a great neighborhood. All of uh, my neighbors, we live on a cul-de-sac. All my neighbors are really cool, but where we spend all the time is we mosey around to each other's driveways and have fire pits and drink outside and whatnot. Um, yeah, we don't go in too much. Uh, we do when it starts to get a little cool out. I also have a couple of pinball machines and arcade machines and stuff, so kind of wanted to have a just like nice little bar game atmosphere in a true man cave down there. But you're right, it has kind of gone by the wayside a little bit. All right. And my first... First set on. Just like with the boxes, it's rinse and repeat. If I can, now I lost my other drawer sled. I hear this. I have that habit a lot. Misplacing. Can't find the items that I just used. All right. So rinse and repeat two more times. Those, uh, yeah, I mean that, maybe a mecha form, I might be interested in doing that as a project sometime. I've seen some plans where you can come up with those pretty easy now. Uh, you can use the Raspberry Pi and use an emulator, and then you get like a 27-inch uh, computer screen, and you put it in there. Now, if you're talking about the old retro games and stuff, those are those are harder to come by. I have a friend that has, you know, he owns an arcade, actually two arcades. Why not? Those are harder to come by, and they're also harder to fix, especially the CRT tubes and stuff that are in there. Yeah, that's what I go with. I mean, it's much more economical. You're not going to, if it, if it breaks down, you're not going to have to source parts and those parts are rare now. Uh, so yeah, I would go I would go with Raspberry Pi run an emulator. I guess I need to open another set of drawer slides. Yeah, I love all the old games. I actually got a retro sleeve tattoo here. Well, I like 8-bit things. So I've got 25 cent quarter slots and stuff. But I like all the old games. I grew up on Donkey Kong, Galaga, all that good stuff. Probably why... Uh, Ended up becoming a uh, programmer.
Hey, Stick, how are you doing? Thank you. That's what I'm trying to do, trying to get that viewer count up. That's the uh, remaining item that I need for affiliate. I was 0.2 away, so with everybody in here now, I think that, you know, when I get done, I think I'll clear that last goal. So I appreciate it. I appreciate the community. And it's been a great community. It's made getting to affiliate super easy. But man, I've gotten so many good resources for, you know, or tips and stuff from uh, for OBS and whatnot. Yeah, the Craftsman Guild is great. I love it. I love popping on streams, even though most of the time I am in lurk mode, lurking while I'm working. Can't remember if I, I did set it. But no, I, I appreciate all the help, all the feedback, all the shout outs. Uh, it, it's been a great community. So thank you. Give me one guess to what is a oh, stick. Uh, stick is, is, I was going to say, I was wondering if it was, is that naughty stick? Did you uh, finish? I, I don't know if I got to finish your stream. Yeah, I didn't. Did you uh, get to uh, finish naughty stick? I ended, I ended where your CA glue did not work. Although I, I will say I was not one of the ones that trolled and said that you needed to use Activator. No, the one thing that I've appreciated the most and I didn't even know is possible, man. You know, woodworking and streaming is one thing, but trying to figure out all this OBS stuff is another. But the thing I've appreciated the most outside of just the shout outs and the follows and stuff is figuring out how to do the filters so I can cut out my tool noise. I didn't realize that was the thing until I got into the guild. I was looking around and somebody had mentioned it and I was like, holy cow. Because I, just like probably everybody else, I'm sitting here and I'm muting through my headset and I mute and then I would forget to come off mute. Yeah, uh, that's what I found. I found the filters, and then um, then Bad Dad uh, gave me some some screenshots to them, but I applied them out of order. I didn't realize that you had to put them in a certain order. And Mecca, I think that was you that uh, clued me in that the order of those filters do matter. But then once I hit affiliate, man, I, I know I have a lot to learn about, about Twitch and stuff. Oh. I'm an idiot. I was sitting here, sitting here looking at my drawer slide, and I'm like, where's the release mechanism? Where's the release, release mechanism? It was the one I already put on and released. And that's the thing I've been trying to work on this week. I've streamed a lot more this week than I ever have. It, it, 
just trying to get comfortable with uh, talking while I'm working. That has definitely been a little bit of a challenge for me. Trying to uh, pay attention to stream, but kind of talk while I'm doing things. All right, Zel Zelton Chance. Man, I know I butchered that. How are you doing? Yeah, I do want to put stuff in the about section. Um, I also know it probably help to have a bot. I have not got a bot or anything like that. I'm just kind of bare bones stream when it comes to all the Twitch stuff. And you guys are making my day today. Viewers and chatters. Gotta say, it definitely makes streaming a lot easier when I'm not the only one in here. So thank you. It is greatly appreciated. Ah, excellent, uh, man. All right. I would never have seen that in a thousand years. But I like it. Also, the other thing that I would like to do, and maybe I'll hit somebody up sometime later, is I'd like to get some more cameras. And the one thing that I do have is I have a whole box full of old phones. Uh, one of my secondary secondary roles at my job was I would, for the fun of it, um, we have a company and we give all of our employees iPhones. Of course, they break them. So when they come back, I would take parts out, Frankenstein them together, put them back. But I, I have a whole box full of phones and stuff. So I would like to get more cameras in here so that I don't have to keep moving one camera around or whatnot, but uh, I would like to try to find a way to use those iPhones or whatnot. I, I could invest in some more C920 Logitech cams if I want, but I think getting started, it'd be nice to just kind of like Bad Dad has. You know, he's got a little mobile camera that he takes around. I think that's a phone. But right now, just want to be on the basics. Get my actual dreaming and woodworking wheels on me. Old iPhones and Droid Cam. Okay, I'll have to uh, look that up. What's going on here? There we go. 
Two boxes done. So, are some of you going to be watching that uh, business stream later? I think Momo Esquire and her boss are putting it on. Kind of interested in that. Uh, you know, I can't remember whose stream it was. Maybe Boyd's. But, you know, I had kicked around the idea. I heard that you could set up an LLC, LLC or sole proprietorship. And you can kind of put your tool purchases and some other purchases on that. It has some incentives. Um, that was something I was considering doing. I do have some interest in it. Yeah, that's coming up at 7 my time. Uh, so in an hour, so I'll probably stop streaming as soon as I get these uh, slides mounted. The other thing is, is I've heard some people. Their LLC, especially kind of for what we do and people who definitely do YouTube and stuff. Not sure if they set it up geared towards uh, geared towards woodworking or being a content creator. I heard a lot of them actually set their LLCs up as being like a content creation agency. And I don't know. I couldn't speak to it. I don't know anything about that, but that's just what I've heard. Now, I do hope to sell stuff you know whether it be small things uh some furniture i would like to get into making some furniture uh i have done some epoxy stuff already i did make a uh, kitchen island top i did a big marble pour for that but i would like to make some furniture stuff make some maybe some whiskey cabinets or something find a niche somewhere, but I'd like to make some sell stuff, maybe do some commission stuff later on. We're almost done with this, so I'll probably, because that other stream is coming up, I think I will probably call it done after this. And I appreciate all these views. I think that it should bump me up to the active viewers that I need, average viewers that I need. So, But beyond that, I got to say this is probably... Hands down, my favorite stream so far.
Thanks, my dad. Appreciate it. Yeah, all right, excellent chance. I agree with you. Making what we want, trying to sell it. Um, I think that definitely it, it needs to be, you know, commission pieces, what, you know, people want you to make, and not what you want to make, thinking that you can sell it. I think that's what you're talking about. I do agree with that. I just want to, for me, at least starting out, before I go full on commission stuff is again what this channel's about just wanting to hone my skills I think that my attention to detail is pretty good and I for the most part I try to measure three times and cut once and I really Try to plan everything out. Maybe too much, but still have a lot of techniques to learn. But that's where I feel watching other woodworkers, that's why I love to do pick up so many tips and tricks. Better, more efficient ways of doing things. Just like setting these drawer spacers, you know. Hell, probably a year or so ago, I probably would have scribed a line. Probably would have scribed a line on my drawer. And gone from there, but using the spacer is so much easier. That's interesting, Badad. No, but my goals here, you know, especially after every project, I kind of like to talk about not only the tools I use, but the techniques I use. What did I learn from the project? You know, what did I accomplish and stuff? You know, with these cabinets and especially these drawer boxes, you know, I was really proud that, you know, I came in, I kind of drew out my blueprints for, you know, the drawers, all the cabinet sides and everything, used cut list optimizer to kind of lay out my optimal cut list, you know, and just with these drawer boxes, you know, just going off that, you know, uh, cut them down. Cross cut them, got all my pieces cut, cut all the dados, and then I went to dry assemble and everything fit really good. They turned out really square, they're really flush, so didn't really I know it's a it's a really simple project, but man, just getting things ninety square. Um all of that, you know. It's a good skill.
All right, and that is the third. Of these boxes. Now I am going to go and mount these in the cabinet back here. They're going to be on top. I'm going to mount them first and then I will work on the uh, fourth box because I'm not quite sure once I get the uh, boxes in and the drawer fronts on there. Not sure how tall my last box is going to be actually. So. Wasn't quite sure what you were talking about, uh, Bedad, on there. Oh, I see. I've really enjoyed. Yeah, I like building shop furniture. I mean, I mean that's probably the best skill bu builder you can have. But you know, my wife also made mention. You know, all the videos I watch, everybody I watch, streamers and stuff. It's woodworkers building stuff for them so they can build the next thing. We were talking about that yesterday. Uh, Mecca, you know, I think that was tagline for his uh, stream. But yeah, um, I like shop furniture. I mean, it's definitely allowing me to pick up the skills and whatnot. But... All right, um, I am going to go ahead and call the stream. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Uh, um, I wish I could type in shout outs and everything right now. My, unfortunately, the computer I stream with, especially at the end of the stream, OBS, it, actually OBS crapped the bed the other night at the, at the end of the stream. So I can't, it's good enough if I can actually get a raid off. So I, uh, is there anybody that I can raid over to? I can pull it up. I just, just didn't know if anybody had somebody else that I could read to. Let me. All right, I'll try that. I am not familiar with... Uh, 29 fireflies, but we will raid them. Hopefully, hopefully my OBS doesn't crap out real quick. Thank you so much to everybody. Ah, hold on. Didn't copy that. T nine. Right. Thank you so much. I I cannot express my gratitude. This was a fun stream. This was the best one I had. Thank you guys for showing up. Thank you guys for chatting. I appreciate it. Have a great night. I hope that this raid is going through. And I typed that. Uh, nope, did not type that in. Correct. Ah, it doesn't want all right, let me do it this way. There we go. Had to do it through the browser. OBS wasn't uh playing nicely. Hopefully I make it over to her stream. I don't always sometimes my OBS crashes, so thank you. <laughs>